Hi, well, there's a couple of people asking how I did this video. That was a mistake. Um, and I realised after looking at the scene that I've been slightly misleading. So, basically, um, I'm using six base objects, which are all using the same MDD file for the running man, just to offset slightly. So if we pick five, see so we've offset the frame by 21 in the loop, so that's the same in all the other five. So all the guys are running slightly offset from each other. If we pull out a bit, you'll see the particles which are coming from the emitter. So they're just, they're actually particles because they interact better that way. So particles were generated separately and they've just been loaded in as a PFX file. But basically all they do is just go from left to right. And if you watch they just kinda spread out and then they all he heading over. Or they're heading away from us actually. So they're all going left to right. So the interesting bit is with the instances. So the instances are on the emitter. Um, so we've brought in all our six different objects and if we look at the nodes basically the real trick in getting the distance is this ray intersect, which is part of DP kit, and I think it's in there, yeah. Re intersect and tools and DP kit. The real gotcha with this is in here. The emitter is set to none. Right, if the emitter is not set to none, if you set it to the actual emitter, things don't work. And I don't know why. But, looking at the maths for moving all the instances, we'll be able to move the timeline here. Basically what's supposed to be happening is, you're getting a position from the particles. Right? You take that position into the ray intersect, so that tells the ray intersect where it's to start from. This vector here tells it which way it's going to be looking. So plus one means it's going to be looking up the way. So although I said in the comments that the emitters were above the, the terrain, they're actually below the terrain, but there's six and a half and dozen. If the emitter was above the terrain, you would just change that vector to minus one, so it would be pointing down the way. So basically what happens is, you've got your X and Z position, which is these two, and then the ray intersect fires a ray up until it hits the geometry. When it hits the geometry it gives you a distance. So that distance we use to shift the Y vector. So we add it on to the current particle's Y vector and it gives us a distance from here up to where the terrain is. So you're breaking down the particle's positions into its X, Y and Z. Then you make it back up into a vector X, Y, Z and you put this shifted Y and that gives you your offset 
to hit the terrain. And that's basically it. You would expect it would work, for instance, if you use an index for your instances. But as you can see, it doesn't work. The only time it works is when that is set to none. is all our instances following along on top of the terrain. So it's the camera view, so that's the scene as we're running. Hope that helps.